Hmm. I think it's time to wake up. Hey guys, Matt here and welcome to this brand new episode of my top six fragrances. In this episode, I'm going to give you guys technically eight fragrances, two honourable mentions and six fragrances from my actual list of fragrances that I find relaxing. So guys, this is my top six relaxing scents video. Now before I do this video, I just want to get a few uh, things out of the way first. Now guys, I'm doing this video uh, in honour of uh, my friend Matt, who I've done quite a lot of collaborations with. And I've, I'm doing this because he basically gave me the idea to do this. On his YouTube channel, he did a video called Relaxing Scents. And basically, I'm doing it not quite copying, but mostly in an influential sort of way, I guess. And uh, I got the idea from him. So, Matt, this one's for you, buddy. And also, guys, a friend of mine, Sean, uh, who I was supposed to give a shout out to in the last video in my Al Rahab uh, Half Moon video, sadly I forgot to do it. I'm gonna do it now, Sean, for you. Now, guys, basically, my friend Sean is a fragrance reviewer online who's pretty much starting out, but he's only got five subscribers. So, guys, it would really mean a lot for me and him if you could go over to his, to his YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button, please. Check out some of his fragrances. He's not a bad reviewer whatsoever. Uh, I actually do enjoy watching his videos, and I really do hope that he gets something from his YouTube channel very, very soon, because he's a great guy. So please check out the description in the link below to go to his channel, please. Now let's get on with this video. Now basically, these are fragrances which I like to wear before I go to sleep, or whether I'm just sitting around the house, not really doing anything. So, so Let's start the list. Now, here are my two honourable mentions. Now, the first honourable mention goes to this fragrance, Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Mal. Now, the reason this fragrance is on the list is because of the lavender note that's in this fragrance. This isn't one of my all-time favourite fragrances, like, whatsoever, but it is a favourite in the fragrance community, and it's known as being a classic. It came out in 1995, and this fragrance ever since then has been very, very popular. But what I really like about it is the lavender note. It's very chilled out, it's very relaxing, and it just makes you feel very safe. It's a very nice fragrance. A lot of people would rather wear this on a night out. Personally, I like to wear this in my own space, but it's all down to that, uh, that lavender note at the end of the day. This is a really good fragrance. I would highly recommend checking it out. I'm actually wearing this right now, so I might as well top myself up. This is Le Mal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Please do check it out. My second honorable mention, guys, is this fragrance. Now, this is a scent which I reviewed um, a couple of weeks ago. I think it was last week or the week before that. And this is a discontinued scent from the house of Guy La Roche. That's right, not Guy La Roche. In fact, one of my subscribers kindly messaged me and told me the actual way to pronounce the name of the fragrance house. Because I'm such a tool. Oh, here we go. This is a fragrance called Horizon Pour On. Now, this fragrance is amazing. A really nice uh, fragrance. It doesn't have lavender in it, but I do get a lot of lavender in this fragrance. It's very relaxing. Even though I've only had it for like a couple of weeks, I haven't wore it an awful lot. But whenever I have wore it, I have wore it before going to sleep. So I have wore it to bed. And it's an amazing fragrance because whenever I sleep, I always have my uh, blinds up and I always have my windows wide open so the cool breeze can get in. And from where I'm lying at night, I can see the night sky. And it's just a very nice, relaxing mood to fall asleep to. And this fragrance seems to work very well for that. So if you're into your classic scents, guys, go for uh, Horizon Pour On by Guy La Roche. It's a great fragrance and you might be very surprised. It is discontinued, but it's very widely available. Now let's check out my main list for this video. Now coming in at number six, we're going to go to the house of Givenchy. The house of Givenchy to me is an amazing house. It's not quite up there with a lot of other houses, but it's still an amazing one. This fragrance is called Zarius, and this comes from the Le Parfum Mythiques um, sort of line, where they bring back a lot of uh, their older fragrances, uh, give them a bit of a reformulation, a bit of a bottle design, and sell them again on the market. This one is very, very good, but also I do have the original 1986 version here with me. This is just a little 4mm miniature. 
right here. Serious Givenchy along the top. Personally, this version is much better, it's much more bolder. This one is still good though, but we are going to be talking about this version. Now, I have worn this a lot, as you can see, it's pretty much nearly empty. But it's an amazing scent. Now, this is a lovely sort of warm lavender amber fragrance. This fragrance I have put into my, uh, into my top six barbershop scents. It's got a nice green sort of grassy barbershop sort of scent to it as well. But it's very, very relaxing. You, when you wear this, you just feel at ease. You feel like, you know, you've, you've left the world behind and you're going to your own sort of relaxing realm. Honestly, it's, I mean, that was a little bit too weird. But yeah, that's what type of scent it is. Oh. At number five. This guys, we're gonna to go to the house of Davidoff. Now the house of Davidoff isn't one of my favorite houses. In fact, there's only one fragrance which I really like from this house and that's the original 1986 fragrance, Zeno. However, this one is a flanker to Davidoff's most famous fragrance, Cool Water. This one came out in 2009, I believe, and it's called Hot Water. Now this fragrance is so relaxing to wear. If you like uh, Givenchy Zarius Rouge, then you will actually like this fragrance. It's a very nice woody spicy scent with a little bit of benzoin. It's also got some pimento in there. So it's a very warm, sort of casual fragrance at the same time, but it's very relaxing. That's that's like the one thing I've really enjoyed about this fragrance. And I like to wear this when I've got out the shower. So if I've had like a really hot shower where, I'm felt re where I feel really relaxed, I'll spray this on and it just makes me feel like 10 times better. It's an amazing fragrance and it gets compliments too. I've wore this in front of friends. At number four, Jupe. And this is sort of an underrated fragrance from the house. This one is called Night Flight. This is a lovely sort of typical 90s aquatic fragrance with a lot of character with it as well. This one, what I really like about it is the lavender in it. Again, lavender, in case you guys have been probably thinking why I've been mentioning lavender a lot. Well, because lavender is a sleeper's note. That's why I like to think of it as, it, think of it all. It's a note that relaxes you. It's supposed to make you feel relaxed and at ease. And the lavender in this, even though it's a little bit synthetic, it's still very, very nice. And I think why I think it's also very uh, relaxing, it's just because of the name. Like, it's very captivating. Night flight. It's supposed to remind you of maybe flying in the night sky like you're a bird with, you know, with with wings, that sort of thing. So guys, this is Night Flight by Jupe, a lovely uh, relaxing sort of aquatic citrusy scent with that lavender floral in there. It's really, really nice. Do check it out. Uh, it's a great scent, seriously, do try it. Coming in at number three, we're gonna go to the house of Andy Toya. Now, I haven't actually reviewed this fragrance in a My Fragrance Obsession episode, but this is an amazing scent. This one is from his very famous Toyaville line and it's called Vanilla Flash. Now this is just one of my personal favorite vanilla fragrances of all time, I'm just getting that out there. The vanilla in this fragrance is absolutely spectacular. It's probably one of the most well-blended vanilla fragrances I've ever had past my nose. Seriously, it's absolutely beautiful. I would absolutely love a bottle of this fragrance. Sadly, it's a little bit pricey, but I am gonna see what I can do maybe in the next few years. I might actually get myself a bottle. Why not? And uh, this is just amazing, but it's also so relaxing. Because it's so well blended and it's made with like really natural ingredients, I like to wear this if I'm just say like, I don't know, editing a video, if I'm just sitting, I don't know, watching my favorite YouTubers online, or if I'm just watching a DVD, playing on the Xbox, you know, like a typical, well, no adults do that sort of thing. So I guess I'm, uh, I guess I'm screwed. <laughs> it's a very relaxing fragrance, guys. This is Vanilla Flash by Andy Toya. Please do check this scent out if you haven't tried it. It's a lovely niche fragrance, which is just screaming with originality. It's so, so nice. So this is Vanilla Flash. Do try it. Coming in at number two, we have another niche fragrance from the house of Creed. And this is just another sample again, but uh, this is just an amazing fragrance. And this is a fragrance which I've always looked at and I suppose I've always looked down at it. I've always thought it was a little bit, uh, what's the word, uh, over-mentioned a bit, and it doesn't really have that sort of amazing vibe. But my thoughts on this fragrance have changed rapidly. This is Aventus. Now, Creed Aventus is one of the most, in fact, it's probably the most famous fragrance of the 21st century, no joke. A very expensive fragrance, but oh my God, 
there are times when I pull this out of my cabinet and I cannot stop smelling it from the atomizer. It is addictive. And I've even made my parents smell it, guys, and they love it. Like, I gave it to my mom one day and she was just like, Mine now! Yeah, literally, she ran away with it and I didn't get it back until maybe later on in the night. <laughs> But this is amazing. This is just, oh my God, it is absolutely incredible. It's got some pineapple in there. It's even got a little bit of geranium. Oak moss is also in there. But it's just such a classy smell. And that's what I really like about this. I've, I've only ever sprayed it like every time I've gone to bed because I want to like fall asleep to it and wake up to the smell in the morning because it does stay there. Longevity on this fragrance is a bomb. But it's just a very relaxing fragrance. It's, it's just comforting, you know? And that's what I really like about this. Just a very classy fragrance. It's a scent that gets a lot of attention, but it's amazing. It is amazing, I'm not gonna lie. So this is Aventus by Creed. Now my number one on this list, guys. A lot of you might be thinking, mm, okay, but it is this one. This one comes from the house of Gaylan, and this is a bit of an oldie. It's been out for a number of years. I think it came out in the 1960s. And this one is called Happy Rouge, <laughs> a very classy scent. This fragrance is, it's very dusty. It's very, I don't want to say dusty, I know that sounds strange, but it's like a dusty, woody, citrus herbal fragrance. Um, nothing I can really say more than that, really. It's, it's a very well blended scent. It's very, uh, very classy scent. Uh, very, um, smells expensive, you know, it's that sort of fragrance. I received it as a gift off my uh, family and it's one of my greatest sort of fragrances in my collection. It's, it's definitely a, a highlight in my whole collection, I think. It's an amazing scent, but whenever I wear this, only one spray right here and it's there throughout the whole day. And it's just so comforting, like it smells like, you know, when you've... It reminds me of, do you know like in the winter time where you've been out in the cold all day and you finally get in the house and you take your socks off and you stick your feet up on the sofa and there's a lit fire and you're drinking like soup or something. It's like that. I can imagine wearing this fragrance to that. It's so, so nice. Just a beautiful fragrance, my number one. So guys, I just want to say a huge thank you to each and every one of you for watching. You guys are incredible. Please let me know what you think of this fragrance video in the comments below and please follow my friends who are in the, in, in the description, my friend Matt and my friend Sean. Thanks so much guys, you guys are incredible. Keep smelling good, have a great autumn and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye for now. And if any of you think I'm doing anything else tonight, think twice.